Maverick Traders. Welcome out to your market roundup, January 29th. Corey here with you. Let's jump into it. As always, we're going to take a look at what meaningful news is out there. There's some news um, regarding the Fed meeting on Wednesday we'll discuss. We're always looking where the puck is going, right? What sector rotation is happening, and then we'll highlight our very best trade ideas with a sideways trade idea today. Disclaimer. This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, click the apply button in the video description. Let's break down what happened today. So as we take a look at the markets, another new all-time high. We continue to push to the upside. Dow up about half a percent. S&P, NASDAQ, Russell outperforming again, almost up 2%. Oil the laggard down 1.5, but we do have to give oil credit. It had been on about a 10-day run to the upside, so gave a little back. Gold quietly uh, moving up nearly 1%. So pretty good price action there. As we said last week, usually when stocks are making a new all-time high, that's not a time to sell. A new, Another new all-time high follows and then another and another. So in the shorter term, I think it makes sense to stay and remain bullish. And we have to somewhat trust that we're going to know it when we see it. When the market gives a reversal, gives a signal, We'll react accordingly, but until then, we continue to march higher. Senator Elizabeth Warren urged the Fed to cut rates. The Fed meeting is out this Wednesday. We'll see what that brings. Advanced decline line, three quarters of stocks advancing today. And then the 50-period moving average, about 70% of stocks above their 50 MA in an upward trend. And that makes sense. We are, of course, trending higher in the broader equity market. So from a few weeks back, the S&P broke out to new highs up above these levels. And notice, as we make new all-time highs, more come, more come, more come. So we're continuing to press to the upside. Now, there will be pullbacks. There will be consolidations. But for now, in the short run, you don't want to kind of guess at that. We'll know it when we see it. we got to trust our uh, technical analysis and get more conservative when that time arrives. NASDAQ had broken out a little earlier, continues to push to the upside as well. As we look at the heat map, mostly green out there, a little bit of lagging performance over here in the energy sector, which has been ongoing, a uh, little bit here in the insurance space, which has been uh, ongoing. But for the most part, there's a lot of green out there, and we continue to push to the upside. We're above the 20, we're above the 50, the slope is upward. Uh, we're trying not to overthink this and just stay on board with that upward trend. So now as we look at possible ideas, I've got some highlights on the bullish, neutral, and bearish side. So let's take a look at a couple of names. First on the bullish side, here's Berkshire. Now I mentioned this as a candidate right back here. I did a market roundup and it was my expectation. I remember saying something to the effect of uh, it tends to be a slower mover, but we would expect a big, sharp upside move running further and faster than normal. And it's certainly done that. I mean, gone from 360 to 380s in a flash for something like a huge conglomerate like Berkshire. That's a big move. Notice the pause here may spend another day or two pausing, but ultimately I think there's more burst going to happen. So I think we can run up there towards 400 rather quickly. Now you might have missed the perfect spot. That's okay. There's more opportunities and I would continue to look for buying opportunities in a name like Berkshire. Dick Sporting Goods has broken out. We're seeing a little high base. Now this one still, I suspect, is going to continue to surge to the upside. I did not check for an earnings date on Dix, so that would be something to check. But notice, as we're consolidating, the volume is dying down. This tends to be a very bullish setup. 
And so based on the technicals, I would expect that res resolution of this consolidation to the upside. Now, Microsoft, why do I have this on the sideways list? We know Microsoft has been on an absolute run to the upside, so why can't that continue? Well, in leadership, this was the first group that really took off higher. This was, you know, large cap tech and the Microsofts and the Apples, they led the market to the upside. Now it makes sense that there is rotation, and there's been some rotation into small caps and more of the value names, something like Berkshire taking off and doing better than Microsoft in the very short term. But I also don't think there's a ton of downside. Now this company reports on Wednesday. I suspect that if it were to gap down, the AI and some of the other opportunities, there's going to be buyers of that dip. But if it were to gap higher, I believe that the professionals would be more inclined to sell that and use it as kind of an exhaustion high. So my expectation is, is that although I don't know which way it's going to go on earnings, I suspect find its way back to the 410-ish price levels regardless. So looking at the earnings results, I'm not sure if it's going to be a bullish or bearish reaction. It's probably going to be one or the other. But then as we fill the gap and either come back down or go back up, that creates a perfect scenario for a couple week out sideways type of strategy. So that's something that I'm considering. And then FedEx, you look at this, just ugly price action. Looks like the next stop is a retest of the prior lows and quite possibly a plunge below those lows. But when you're in a very, very bullish market, is not the time to be super aggressive with your bearish targets. We're in a bull market, so a rising tide lifts all boats, so to speak. I wouldn't be carried away in the downside target. If you want big upside price targets, you use it on the upside. Something like Berkshire, like we talked about over the past couple of weeks, you could go very aggressive with your upside target or already have done that and it would have paid off very handsomely. When you're trading bearish trades in a strong, strong bull market, be much more conservative with the targets. I mean, I could see targeting just to move down to the lows, something more conservative because again, the tendency is, is that you won't get as big and as carried away of moves on the downside when the market's very, very strong. Now. As we look at the markets, new all-time highs tend to follow more new all-time highs. Earnings results have not derailed the trend. We've got the Fed meeting on Wednesday. We've got non-farm payrolls on Friday. Those are the two major events from the economic calendar. Earnings calendar, we've got a variety. Apple, AMD, Amazon, Boeing, Chevron, Google, MasterCard. Uh, Meta, formerly known as Facebook, Merck, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Starbucks, Exxon, and on and on it goes. Lots of companies that we can digest their news. This is the big week for earnings. This is when the majority of companies and market cap reports. So somewhat of a big week for the market. I suspect it's sort of like Microsoft in that if the market were to pull back, it'll find buyers. If it were to surge ahead on the earnings results, that's probably the little exhaustion final push that leads to a correction and a consolidation and things like that. So uh, same outlook on Microsoft is sort of by my broad market outlook in the very short term. But I would still lean towards there's probably a finishing type of move here that could be quite sharp, quite steep. We've got to be aware that that move looms as a possibility. Hope you enjoyed the market roundup today. Have a great week ahead. We'll see you next time.